delicioso. Deixa eu ver. Today we have a very, very special guest, mm -hmm. like super special. He's running this fashion brand. He's having kids running in the street like crazy for his <laughs> brand. Globally as well. The people wearing his brand, we've seen the likes of Central C, Dave. Drake. Drake. Neymar. Neymar, all of it. And I've been really looking forward to speaking to this man, this brother. So can we please give a big, big round of applause for Clint419, please. Woo! More, 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 more energy, more, 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 energy, more, more, energy, 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 more, It's my favorite drink. What's the problem? Uh, no, but it, I, I thought other people liked it. That was when I discovered people were offended by Bailey's. I didn't know until that day, you know. You know what? This is why he's sitting over here. He's bad vibes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know <what> I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. I'm all right. Is, is my mic working? You not here? Yeah, we can yeah? turn up a little piece. Can we hear? Yeah, I'm good still. It's my first time in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Happy to be here, you know. Can't yeah. see a YouTuber and that. Yeah. I don't really do this stuff. I don't like speaking. We I know. know. <laughs> I hate speaking. These guys, these guys wanted me to come on their podcast for maybe like a year. What? Wait, hold on. Wait. Who told you that, bro? Why are you like, it? Why, why are you <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> wait, we didn't bring you here to do all of that. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't do that. You weren't, you weren't even talking to me that much out there, right? <laughs> now you're telling the secret. Right. <laughs> What's so what? You saw my DM? You <laughs> Did you I actually DM him? I DM'd him. No, I've, oh, been, swear. I, I've been pre from the from a distance, but I don't like speaking. So 100%. Like, you know 100%. Yeah. But I don't really have much to talk about. I, I would say is just in the sense of like creativity, which is going to be the theme. We will get to it. Um, it was chess. We made chess moves. Okay. So you see how you baited out the DMs and all that? Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you the chess move that I did on you that okay. you didn't know. What was the chess move? Go ahead. So I wanted to speak to Sloan. Yes. And I was like, that's a creative man. But yeah. I was like, we're going to make sure that after Sloan, we get Clint. Because okay. that's going to be the case study. Yeah. So that he knows that it's safe. Okay. <laughs> right, cool. And now we've got you here. So, so you use my friend as a pawn in your no, game? No. Not a pawn. <laughs> no. I wanted to speak to Sloan. Yeah, you wanted to speak but to him. But I knew that I could 100% make sure I can get you as well. After? Okay. Right, we want the enough. whole collective. Okay. I can walk off right now and the plan will just foil. <laughs> 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 but, um... <laughs> yeah. Um, Northwest London, so uh, like Wembley. So Yo, go on, share. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Northwest of the house, yeah. All right, cool. You know, I'll, I'll cool. see you at the market on Sunday. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, Northwest London, Wembley. I grew up there like pretty much my whole life, and uh, yeah. Nah, me. I mean, like when I was a kid, I, maybe I don't know in it, but I never like went there myself and like shopping in the market or nothing like that. Did I have fake clothes? I don't know, you know. No, nah, that's <laughs> all I did, my bro. My mum was like a drippy woman, innit? So she, I f I'm pretty sure she was like she wanted me in like the best kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. Think she put me in fake. In I fake had clothes. like an auntie that used to sell Gucci and Prada from my house. Gucci and Prada. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew it wasn't real because she had yeah. way too much of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know when she got the one. box? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. What? Christian Dion. There was a Christian Dion. Wow. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Master Dion. Yeah, so grew up in Northwest. Yeah. What about that school? What school that? Like? Uh, I went to an all boys school. So oh, I went to I went to an all boys Catholic school. Oh, yeah. But what I hate like? like I hate like it was it was strict. It was like this that and other. it's like people either some people either end up in jail or you yeah. end up doing like big things. Like I went to school with one heavyweight boxer who's like got like titles and shit. David Adelaide. Okay. Um, another guy got a company that's like big in like crypto and shit, and it's like he was in my class, and like we were both like in trouble getting sent out all the time. So yeah, it's yeah. like the school, like you kind of either went this way or that way. Yeah, but it was like I think that's because when it's strict, you either 
like adhere to it or you just go in a, a worse direction. So. so so what were you getting in trouble for? Just like talking or I was that? like a, a class clown, kind yeah. of. But okay. yeah, I was more like a class clown. That's what I'll get in trouble for. Like just being like mischievous. Were you like, one of those ones that's like, oh he's bright, but he just doesn't listen in I was class. smart. I was smart in school, hundred percent. Yeah. I've never been dumb in my life. <laughs> what's that? What's that? What's that? I was I like what? I, I wouldn't <laughs> never dumb in his life. He came out the womb just being <laughs> what's uh, what's that? equals MC squared yeah. straight from the womb. <laughs> Um, nah, like I, the thing is, yeah, I was in set one, but when you're bad, like, why are you put, saying but? Nah, because when you're bad, they'll put you in set two because it's like they don't want you to disrupt the the kids oh, that they think are Einstein. Okay, actually, okay. No, so it's like they used to just downgrade me on purpose. My dad will come in and just start beefing them, like, yo, like why are you putting him in the lower sets if, oh. if he can be in there and stuff like that. That's good. So, your dad's supportive. I can't lie. My dad was like, give me, let me get the teacher's number. Don't worry, make yeah. sure that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My, yeah. my dad was making sure he was like. Proper on to me with yeah, the nah. teachers. Parents evening was peak for me, so. Swear. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 that's when he crushed your dreams of being a footballer. <laughs> that's how I've ended up a YouTuber, you know, because <laughs> I wanted to be a footballer, but my dad crashed my dreams in year I nine. Think, I think everyone wanted, uh, everyone wanted to be a footballer. Like, more? Me, yeah. Uh, it depends yeah, who you ask. Yeah, it, on, it, 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 it depends <laughs> who you ask, innit? I'm not going to toot my own horn, innit? But, like, I can, I can stand my ground, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, I'm not going to toot my <laughs> I'm a right back. I'm a right back on paper, but like I'll play anywhere. Like if I go goals, you're not putting me in right back. Like, I'm 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 a, I'm a striker. Okay, right. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a striker. I yeah, yeah. <laughs> wicked, wicked. I wanted to talk about again because creativity is something that we're all doing as YouTubers. We're all creating ideas from scratch. Mm -hmm. But there's things that from your household, like we forget about the first original creators, which is our parents. Yeah, yeah. facts. They had facts. sex and they had us. Yeah. That, was, <laughs> that was very creative of them. Yeah. But, but aside from that, I, I know everyone got images of their parents having, <laughs> but aside, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Let's move on, let's move on. Let's it's because he's a dad. He just uh, yeah, I am, I am, I am, yeah. Um, so aside from that, like our parents were very creative, whether it be with budgets, yeah. Whether it be Facts. with the bus ticket. Oh, what, what, ticket. what? Uh, changing the date? Did you ever do that? Nah, you know what? I did that, like, just myself. But then sometimes I would get the... When you go to the machine in the train station, mm -hmm. you would, uh, like... You, if you know how to use the machine, innit? Yeah. You would, like, do some stuff to it, and then that £10 um, travel day ticket will turn to £2. And I did that for, like... Three, four years. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, you, so doing... I, you travel across London for like two pounds for like, I did that for a good four or five years until they patched it. Until like, <laughs> until, like until, when, I remember when it stopped working at the machine one day and I was just like, yo. Like. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember like creativity with parents. Like, I remember in like, we didn't have a garden. Well, we didn't have a garden at the time. Actually, my mom still doesn't have a garden, you know. We need no, to sort it's it out. Balcony, isn't it? So we had a balcony, but we didn't have nowhere to really dry the clothes. So there's like a room in our house. The hot room. The hot room. Yeah. yeah. Anyone have a hot room like with like the hot pipes that go through it? No? Yeah, man, we were broke. Bro, we, <laughs> uh, we need to move back to Kenya, boy. You know what I mean? <laughs> but like that was just a sense of like, we need to dry the clothes. We did like we had to dry the clothes, like seeing the clothes in front of us. You get what I'm saying? But it was just like that creativity, I feel like that just Mold you as a person, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you like see my how my mum used to fix everything with a hammer, like everything, it doesn't matter where it was. Like, we had a bunk bed one time, I came home, no Allen key, just hammer. <laughs> so, how do, you, how do you even fix this bed? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, did you see like creativity from, from like your parents when you was young, like um, that inspired you or that? I think I'd say my mum was very like entrepreneurial, like she tried okay. to do like a lot of like different kinds of stuff and like she worked like four jobs and shit. Wow. Sometimes I would barely see her. I'd see her. I mean, she did, when she started doing night shifts, um, nursing, yeah. I wouldn't see her. Yeah. I yeah, didn't yeah. see my mum. Like, and my yeah. dad was like an accountant slash teacher. So I'd say my dad was very like her. Uh, like numbers wise and good yeah, on that. And my mum, it's like, imagine you have someone who's careful with money and then you have someone who's not so careful with money. Yeah, yeah. And then you, I'm like in the middle of that. Yeah. I'm, I'm careful with money, but like I'm also, I understand that you kind of have to put up your money in order to get a gain out of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Scared money don't make no money, so. Right, 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 right. Ava, what's that? Avon. 
selling the thing door yeah, to door. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that weren't her hustle still. She was <laughs> some other shit. Nah, nah. Yeah, nah, my mum was hustling. I don't know if she ever did Avon. But my mum used to, um, because obviously my mum used to go back and forth from Oh Ghana. my days, your mum was a shot. She was a legend oh on ends, but because she used to get the like yams and fish from Ghana, bring it over. His mum was my first nitty still. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so for me, because that's a crackhead. That's a crackhead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like she was hooked on the dry fish that my mum used to bring, so you should sell that. Yeah. It might have been no, illegal. No, no, no. Why are you she hating? Was getting Why it from you the hating? port. What are you talking about? She had license, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> she had a license to sell. She even had a market in Brixton. Get yeah. that right. Yeah, 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 yeah You yeah, see? Yeah, 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 Hustler. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about illegal. What are you trying to do, bro? What are you YouTube, bro? <laughs> well, um, siblings, yeah, I've got two other sisters, so I'm the baby boy of the family. Uh, how was that? Um, I'd say my sister's like... Uh, Swag definitely like they kind of nurtured that in a sense. Like I'd take my older sisters like old air harachis and wear them after she was done with them. Like that's what I'll do and shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, she would yeah. always get trainers and shit. And I'll just look at my dad like, where's my fucking trainer? <laughs> 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 yeah. And then, but when I when I was like when my foot got big enough to like her size, I'd wear her shoes and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I think like and obviously having older sisters is like they kind of t- they take care of me in it. Yeah, yeah, so it's yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. It, yeah. It just Hand-me-downs were the thing, man. I, I mean, can't... yeah, not not like gums, but just the shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hear it. Yeah, because like, yeah. yeah, I had an older brother. Yeah. Did she ever? Oh, well, you weren't stealing her stuff, cause. Oh, no, I was, st- I was stealing, stealing it. Yeah, her trainers, yeah. Oh, like, what? So she didn't, like, it wasn't like she was done with them and then you... Oh, no, nah, no, nah, it's like, I'm, I'm wearing this now. <laughs> what, like that. Yeah, that's, that's what it would be like. So yeah. in, in, in Northwest, yeah, what was the most popular trainer? Um, I mean, when I, was, when I was younger, I'd say the air trainer Harachi oh, was yeah. like... Harachis were Hirachis. big, though. Yeah. Nah, it's definitely air forces on our side. Like, for me. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like London. forces were like... But forces is just a staple. Yeah. Forces is like eating egg and bread in the morning. It's like, it's just there. It's is that what you eat in the morning? Are you going in? No, no, no. Oh, okay. What, what, it's not, that's not reserved to Ghanaians. Like, bro, like... <laughs> Man, I'm just claiming anything. But, <laughs> but yeah, no, air forces have just always been there. That's just a mainstay in that like, culture. So I think, yeah. but... In, I've, yeah. in school, was you kickers or wallabies? Kickers. Uh-huh. Yeah, How yeah, many yeah, tags? Yeah, One yeah. or you, you strapped up on the tags? You know, they had the little tags on them. Oh, yeah, no, nah, I was just one tag. So one. I, wasn't, I wasn't that, like, flary. Like, too much yeah, with it. Stitching tags. or no stitching? Stitching on what? On just my kickers? On the, yeah. So, nah, I was playing still. Play my school was strict on that. Like, if you are stitching yeah, on them, yeah, you weren't allowed yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a Catholic school, innit? Them not were just, like... Even yeah, kickers same. was pushing it. Mm. That little tag, the little blue and uh, red tag that we used to have on kickers, they used to sometimes make you cut it off. Cut it off. I just be like, you lot are just hating. Like. <laughs> <laughs> they all want you to be swaggy, bro. Yeah, nah, so, yeah man. So what, uh, and then in school, um, was you hustling then at all? Like, was you selling donuts in the playground? or? Uh, you know what? I used to sell Mentos. Men- mentos. mentos? Yeah. The mint. Or oh, the sweets? Yeah, I used to sell Mentos. Because everyone else was selling cookies and, and donuts and shit. And obviously, I didn't want to step into anyone else's market and then yeah. obviously have like... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like some mafia shit. Like I, so I was like, you know what? What happened was one day I remember my mum, she like my mum's got a sweet tooth, so she always has mentos in her bag and that. And I, I remember like taking oh, like, a pack. Oh, the flavored one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I thought you were talking about yeah. the, the white mint one. Nah, nah, nah. Okay, that's okay, that's okay, colorful that's dress. Bland, sense. But I remember taking a pack of like four from her her bag one time, and then one kid in school was like, oh, can I buy them off you?" And I was just like, "All right, cool, like whatever." Mm. And then. Over time, I was just like, okay, what? I can make, what, 50p, 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 and then that's what? Per Mentos? F- no, no. Oh, oh the pack. pack. Oh, okay. I'd be a billionaire. If I was <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, nah, so I used to, used to sell packets. Like, every, I used to try and sell, like, two packets a day, and like, I yeah. used to go back and forth to Poundland and stuff like that. Yeah. And then I remember I was saving up for one... Uh, I remember there was this thing called PS Vita. So there was a PSP oh and a PS Vita was like that yeah, 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 yeah. version that came out way after. Yeah, 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 it flopped. That. Like Sony fucked yeah, it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I don't know if there's Sony sponsors or anything, but Sony <laughs> fucked it. Like. Yeah, yeah, but, um, <laughs> I remember I was saving up for that and I remember it took me maybe like, two, I'd say like three, four, five months of just selling Mentos in the playground to save like 200 pounds and then buy it. And then I remember when I bought it, I didn't have enough money for a memory card. Or a game, so oh. <laughs> you have to up again. So man, man had to keep, man had to keep, uh, <laughs> keep hustling in the yeah. playground until I was able to get that. And then I remember when I got it, and it's like there was satisfaction, but no one else had one. 
So it was a bit like, I'm just playing this dolo. Well, like, I was just like, it's yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's the problem happy, with those I was games. Like, in my head, when I, when I used to look under my bed and then open my, my, my shoe box and I just see like bare ca- like cash in my head, I was like, what, fucking 200 pounds? I'm a millionaire. Like, yeah, that's yeah, like, yeah, That's yeah, how yeah. it felt. Like, and then, so it's like, yeah. But that's what I'll do in school. Like, I'll just sell sweets Sick. and shit. So when did the like, love for fashion begin then? I think I've always kind of had like an underlying like, love for clothes. It's mm-hmm. just kind of maybe it's extended from my sisters or something like that. But I've just always kind of liked clothes and kind of dressing in like my own way. And um, yeah, I f- I, my first job was at Topshop. But, I swear. But not like, I didn't care about clothes. I was just like, I'm getting seven pound an hour. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. It's what it is. But then I'd use like whatever money I got from it and go top man and buy gums and I'd be posting on Instagram. I wasn't really interested in like brands, like mm. like the Trap Stars and Palace and Supreme and shit when I was like growing up. It was kind of weird. It's like me making my own brand. I weren't interested in that at all because yeah, I was like, I'm not, that's interesting. I'm not fucking yeah. spending this much on like a hoodie or some shit like that. That's just how my mentality was, isn't it? Mm. And then, um, yeah. So I think I've always had an interest in clothes. Just so w- what made you make your own brand then if you weren't like looking at what these Be- lot were doing? Because it's like sometimes you just see something and then you'd want to make it in your own way. Mm. And in my head, it made more sense to go out and make my own hoodie than go out and buy one. That's just how I've always been. <laughs> yeah. That's so I just wanted to make my own clothes. Now I'm shutting them. Yeah. To, and Drake's wearing my stuff. <laughs> I always can. <laughs> nah, I think but that's how everything starts. It's like there's always like a, a necessity for something. Yeah. Whether it's, I don't know, fucking 800 billion years ago, someone needed a will. And yeah, then someone yeah, come yeah. up with a will, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah, so obviously, I didn't, I, didn't inve- I didn't invent the will, innit? But it's like, I just wanted something for myself that I couldn't see anywhere else. And then that's, that's just how I approached it. Do and you know who the first person was that told you, bro, that hoodie's hard? Um, myself. I look in the yeah. mirror. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like maybe, maybe you're not too bad at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. How, did, how did the first online purchase feel? Um, or was that the first sale or... Was it offline or offline? You're talking person? about Cortez or just yeah. in general? Because I had a brand before. You had a brand okay. Okay. Right, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm not yeah. going to talk about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd say for Cortez, um, because it was by myself, my, my first brand that I did with someone else, it, it was with someone else. But when you do something by yourself, it's a bit more like, damn, like, this is just me. It's mm, like yeah. you're in the ocean and yeah. you've got to survive by yourself. So I think when, the, when I got the first purchase, it was just more like, right, okay, like there's one, there's two, there's three. There's four, and I remember that first month, I think I made like maybe like a thousand five hundred pounds. Yeah. And then um, I was just like, all right, cool. Like maybe this is like, that's the most money I ever made yeah. in one month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, whenever I worked, like I had like, so I worked at Topshop, but I only worked four hours a week. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, part time. I hated working. I yeah, used to work yeah, yeah. At New I, hate, I hated I was working. Like, I hated going in there and then someone saying, Clint, do this, do that. I used to be like, who, yeah. who the fuck are you? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got my love swear. Issues. My love swear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, I mean, yeah. you swan already. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're here now. We're here now. Yeah, so it's like, that was the most money I ever made in one month. And I think that just changed my way of thinking. I was like, what? If I could just do this every single month, then, yeah. like, that's basically what someone would earn working for someone else. Yeah. But when you earn that much doing it yourself, it feels way better. Yeah, yeah, exactly. no, no one told me to fold this shirt or no one told me to do that. Like, it's just me. Yeah, so as a, as, a cre- as a creative, do yeah. you have any fears? Um, do I have any? F- I, I don't think, uh, I mean, sometimes you can make something and then you could be like, oh, it, people might not like it, but I don't really fear that anymore because mm. you kind of need to like test the waters a lot of the time. Yeah. And, it's just like, if you go into stuff just fearing shit all the time, you're never going to do anything. You're just going to be crippled by fear. Yeah, so yeah facts. I think, I, I wouldn't say I have creative fears as much. I'd say my fears are more business-wise. It's right. just like, because obviously being like the sole owner of my company, yeah, everything is kind of like from my mind and what I decide to do. And mm. business decisions sometimes can just be more impactful than creative decisions. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's, that's just, that's in my, in my part. Because a lot of people, they're creative, but then they don't really have a business mind. Or some people are business minded and they're not that creative. But yeah. it's like, I feel like when, you, when, when it's both, you take everything into account. It's mm-hmm. like sometimes I'll be like, okay, can I drop this hoodie? But then how many of these am I gonna sell? Or yeah. is, sometimes this might not even be a, a selling play. This might just be like to show creativity. Or like yeah. I might make a certain product that's a niche product. And then I know that it's not going to make that much money, but it has a lot of impact because people might not 
they, they might not have considered the brand in that way. For example, like this vest I'm wearing, yeah. it's like no one really gonna buy a yellow leather vest for X amount of money, yeah. Yeah. unless you're a fucking wrestler or a rapper. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's me consciously knowing I'm not meant to sell a lot of these, but yeah. it's a thing where it's like that adds to like the brand and adds to the product offering. And yeah, people yeah. can see what levels we can achieve. You know what I'm saying? What made you, because again, we see like brands that will sell things like very traditionally, whether they get a shop front or they go online. Like when I first come in, and this is obviously not at the start when you're saying like 2018, but like I'm just seeing kids running in the street. Yeah, yeah. that's what And I'm like, has anyone seen these videos online? I know not everyone's like UK, but okay, cool. So like kids are running in the street to like secret locations. Just YouTube it, it's crazy. And these are handing out stuff, they're selling stuff. Then you got, oh, we can even get into like the market, the, the bolo exchange, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Like what made you think, all right, I'm going to market in this way? Mm. Um, because if, when everything else is like boring, it's the same thing as, it's like, there's nothing in the marketplace that looks like this. So mm. I'm gonna make it because that's just how it is. And also as well, it's like with online now, especially marketing your brand, it's like everyone just uses, I, I've never used sponsor ads or anything like that. Yeah. So everything has just been, <laughs> yeah, no, same. Every, everything has been like just natural, isn't it? So yeah. I had to think of a way, how do you get as many people talking about what I'm doing? It's peak. When I saw people talking about it, this is what let me know I was getting old. Yeah. yeah. I saw, I saw people wearing it. I was like, oh, this is cold. I need some. Yeah. So I'm cool. Right? There's a website. I get there. It says a password. I start tapping my pockets. Where's the <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to access this thing. Like, yeah, yeah, then yeah. I'm seeing kids running the street. I said, I can't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm too old. Yeah, so. It's not for me. It's I'll not for me. That's fine. That's fine. But yeah. it works. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. It yeah. works. Like, I mean, it's interesting to see, like, there's definitely a spectrum of, like, customers because... I'm only, tw I'm 26 in it. So yeah. it's, when I started it, I was like, I was 20. Mm. So it's like, when you're 20, you're, you're marketing usually to people that are younger than you. Mm. Because it's like, I'm not, I can't market to someone who's five years older than me because it's a bit like, sometimes it's like difficult, especially mm -hmm. with the amount of stuff I could make back then. It's just a t-shirt. It's like, why is someone who's older than me gonna buy this when they can buy this from this brand or this from this brand? But now that I'm 26, it's like, I feel like with the kind of complexity of what I'm making has improved and shit, it's like I'm marketing now to people who could be 10 years older than me if they're buying like the black leather jacket, like Drake, yeah, yeah. wearing a black leather jacket. He's, I don't know, 35, 36. Yeah. So it's like, it's bruh. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but it's like, in my head, I'm like, that's sick. Cause yeah, then yeah, it, yeah. it just obviously increases the amount of people I could, um, we could sell product to and also just appeal to. So. Um, I don't know what your question was. Sorry, I do that. Um, I don't even know about art. No, so it, was, it was just conversation. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, because yeah, like, like stuff like when you were doing like the ninety nine p stuff, like yeah. what is that? Just marketing, purely just marketing, or you um, like I want to give back or something. Yeah. So with that, with that idea, I remember. So the ninety nine p cargos was like. I, my cargoes are usually 120 pound. Yeah. And then um, they were doing well for like a, a long time. They've always kind of done well since I kind of started dropping them. And then um, I remember I've never dropped like a color that was just black on black, which mm. is just plain. Yeah. Everyone loves black on black. Black's yeah. the best yeah. selling color. Yeah. You know, if people, right. if people don't want to do too much, there's five t-shirts, you're going to pick the black one. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, when I came up with that idea, it was that, and I think I came up with that idea like just after I did the Bolo Exchange as well. So we're gonna, do, you, I would, we need to talk, talk about that. that. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah. yeah, but I just I came up with that idea just after I did it, and I sat on the idea maybe for like seven, eight months, and then it was a thing where it was like I remember I didn't do, I didn't release any clothes for about two months. And right. then, and then kids were on TikTok saying I've fallen off and shit like that. <laughs> like, they're like, they're like, they say oh. he's washed up. Like, he's a bum. Because I didn't open the I didn't open the website for like two months, and then they genuinely I was just kind of like, I didn't feel like opening the website. Were you right. chilling or like just? I mean, I was, tra I was traveling. I went, I went, I went Australia on that time, yeah. and like, I did like t-shirt giveaways in Australia, and kids were running after me in Australia and shit, yeah. and mm. all that kind of stuff. And I went there by myself. Like I went. I, um, obviously, Set, uh, Sench was doing a tour in Australia, but yeah. I went there and it's like, it wasn't me and like Kaida and like the rest of my team. It was kind of just me and yeah. then one brother that I know in Australia who has a brand that I was like, all right, cool, can you round up like three, five year guys? Can, can I hand out 300 t shirts in Melbourne and 300 t shirts in Sydney? And then like, I'd say about 500 kids pulled up in each 
City. Crazy. But that's like Australia. It's yeah, like, that's mad. I'm from Northwest London. Yeah. Why is someone in Australia yeah. <laughs> running after me for a t-shirt? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, so I remember I took like a, I didn't open my website for two months and then I kind of needed something to jumpstart it again, mm. like just jumpstart the energy. Um, and then that's when I came up. Well, I already fought the 99 P cargos, but I was like, ah, right, cool, this is like, I'm yeah, gonna rely on this. Yeah. When I need to use it, I'll do it. And then that's when I did it and I announced, okay, cool, I'm selling these cargos that we've never done before. They're triple black, everyone loves triple black, blah, blah, blah. The 99 P. Yeah. yeah. And literally 4,000 kids. Well, when I say kids, it's not no, really no, kids. No, no, they're not kids. Well. Teenagers adults. in yeah, like, yeah, the like, well. yeah, it's like they can consent for <laughs> themselves. Four thousand people. <laughs> four thousand people came to came to Shepherd's Bush Green. Like literally, like I was pissed that day because I worked in Westfield. Yeah, <laughs> and, I, and I saw it online afterwards, and I was yeah. like, damn, I missed it. Yeah. Nah, well, he's gonna be running in the street. Like, I can't lie, there were ninety nine p. So I think we ended up doing about maybe like hundred and fifty to two hundred pairs of the. I mean. That's still a lot of a lot of product, of course. Yeah. but there was obviously like four thousand people there <laughs> in a yeah. park, and then we had to kind of select people like, okay, you're gonna get a pair, like yeah. you're gonna get like kind of like Oprah, like you, <laughs> you get a, you, <laughs> you get a um, pair. Not everybody gets a yeah. pair. <laughs> obviously, some people went home like pissed off, like oh it was sh- it was shit, blah blah, blah yeah. all that because they didn't get they a, didn't what, get one, yeah. They yeah. thought man man's not gonna make four thousand cargos. So like yeah. I don't even know how many people would turn up as well. It's yeah. like when when we do stuff. I'd, we don't know how many people are going to turn up. Mm. That's a scary thought. Like, you just don't know. So it's like, I think when you said about creative fears, sometimes it's like, when we do something in real life, there's always that kind of fear in your mind. Like, oh, rah, who's actually going to come? But then it's like, 99p cargoes, 4,000 people. It doesn't sound too, like, that sounds like it makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it does. It does. They want mm, everyone wants your brand, some shit though. for 99p. Like. No, no, but if I if I just went and said, guys, meet me in Shepherd's Bush, I've got 99p cargoes. <laughs> yeah. Nobody's coming, bro. <laughs> they're, they're not coming. They're not coming. I'm not coming. I'm not coming. Yeah. Not coming for yeah. my cargo. No, no, no. Just but yeah, that man. was definitely impactful and people were like talking about it. And then it's like, um, I'm, I'm like a strong believer in like word of mouth, and that's always been a thing for me. Andrew. Because I feel like in the, in this internet age, everyone thinks it's like a singular viral moment that is gonna, mm-hmm. but sometimes it's just consistency in what you do and then people spreading like word of mouth for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the key word though, consistency. I mean, um, the Instagram account was private. I mean, it still is private sometimes. Yeah. Like I think it's not private now because I did a post, but it, it was private most of the time. When I started, it was fully private and I would like literally like pick, I'd go, I'd go on your Instagram yeah. and like see like what your swag was. If it was shit, I would not, Accept you into the account. <laughs> <laughs> like I was very, I was like, nah. But it's 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 like if I felt like this wasn't for you at that time, right. I wouldn't I wouldn't accept you into the account. Right. It's that's like I was trying to I was trying to control the like thing. Who's like, wearing that's, it? But yeah, okay. it, at the start, yeah, Because yeah, yeah. my mind was like different back then. It was very yeah. like, nah. Like I need this to be like very specific, kind of people, right? catered to like a specific kind of like individual, like someone that like, I feel like would think the same as me. It's like, there'll be like footballers that would request it like back in the day when I first started and I'll be like, yeah, nah, not you. Like, yeah. <laughs> like that's, just how, yeah. that's just how yeah. it was. Yeah. But that's you have to do that sometimes yeah, because yeah. It, it's, it, it's about, um, like you have to create your own niche. And I feel like at, right. the st- mm. at the start, I created my own niche because I just knew that, cool, there's like a small circle of people. And if, if it's like a hundred people know about it, then a thousand people. And then next thing you know, a thousand people have got their, their 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 parcel. They've posted it and then they've tagged it. And then with the account on private, someone is gonna obviously click that tag and be like, "Oh, what's this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me yeah, go yeah. to that." I don't think that works now. Like five years ago on Instagram, it was a different landscape. And yeah. now it's like I see brands that like they go on private, but they, they they didn't approach it in the same way that I did. Yeah. And it doesn't work. It's yeah. about timing as well. Something that worked ages ago is it always isn't gonna, gonna work, work now. now. Yeah. Um, and now here's a word from our sponsor. Yep. Don't all wait till winter to say, yeah, I'm going to get back in the gym. Do not. <laughs> now is the time and Gymshark have got you 10% off is what we got you on. That's right. You can use the discount code 90sbabyshow to get site-wide discount. That's on everything from 
just regular gym gear to yep. rest day to Everything. equipment, accessories. accessories. That's towels, water bottles, gym Socks. bags, gloves, <laughs> yeah. everything you need. The, you know the, they got. I got the um. You know the, the one the wrist strap. The wrist strap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that where you're on. Yeah, I got that as well. I'm yeah, I got the skipping rope. So guys, remember the link is in the description. Yes. The QR code is up here. 10% discount if you use 90s Baby Show. We got some more special things coming with you for you with Gymshark that will let you know real soon. But of yeah. Of course. Imitation. Yeah. Um, for you guys, is imitation flattery? It's not. So we don't like imitation. Interesting. I'll come over just because they can't hear. No, no, just so we can, because rec so it's recorded. It's recorded. I just said imitation with no credit is just super insulting, especially when it's like a clear, heavily inspired by someone. Yeah. And there's a difference between imitation and inspiration, yeah. mm -hmm. I think. So I like I, I agree with that. And yeah. um, we've seen the likes of other brands. We don't need to mention them. Yeah. But you know, we've seen that actually happen. Yeah. Big, big brands to small brands and shit. <laughs> uh, I think when I like now mm, I mean, I'd not say I'm a bit more mature, but it's like five years is a small space of time to, a lot has happened in five years. So it's like yeah. at the start when people start copying, yeah, I used to feel like bitter about it. And that's the natural response. Of course. But over time, it's like now when I see someone copying, I'm just like, I go in the comments and then someone has said it for me. Like a kid's yeah, yeah. been like, this is just copying Cortez. So I'm just like, ah, you've done it for me. Yeah, like yeah, someone, yeah. people look at comments and someone's going to see it. And even subconsciously, if you're, if you, maybe if you haven't even looked at the comments and known that, okay, this was clearly inspired by this. It's like when they do discover the brand or they do see it, they're like, oh, maybe these, pers these people just kind of copied this. And it's yeah, like, yeah. It, short term, it looks good for them. It's like, okay, this is cool. But then long term, someone's just going to think, oh, they just copy Cortez. Yeah, yeah. And it always leads back to Cortez. Yeah. And you're, it's like, so I understand Uche's point about like, um, without credit, but it's like, after a certain point in time, there's going to be a lot of people who are going to copy what you're going to do if you're doing it well. Yeah. And that's something that I had to come to terms with. It's like, if I'm doing something that's working for me, and other people see us working, they're gonna copy because that's just human nature. Yeah. Especially if like you wanna survive or you're, you got a brand that you wanna blow up, you're like, all right, cool, this is working for him or whatever, it looks like it's working, let me copy it because it might work for me. But oh. if you don't establish your own kind of way of, of doing things over time, then you're gonna just, yeah. that means you're always just one step behind what I'm doing. I'm always yeah. trying to be one step yeah. ahead of myself. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, I want to talk about uh, brotherhood in this crea creativity space. But yeah. before that, what did you do with those jackets? Which ones? Oh, oh, the, the bowl of exchange. So okay, cool. talk through it. Because right. not everyone might know what it was. All right, cool. So basically, I had a um, a jacket that I wanted to release for the first time, and um, it was like a winter jacket, and I called it the bolo because in England, bolo means like wedge. When you're like, wedge yeah. and the yeah. jacket, like when you put it on, it makes you fucking look huge. Like yeah. A yeah. Man. <laughs> And um, I wanted a way to show the jacket in, I just wanted a way to debut the jacket. And um, literally, I think uh, I was just sitting down with my boy with lead and then I was like, okay, what if I say, yo, pull up and swap your current North Face Nupsy. Obviously the North Face Nupsy is like a London staple. Yeah, yeah. Of like a like everyone had a did you everyone have a North Face Nazi? I didn't. I didn't. We was broke. Right, let's just ignore. You, I, I was gonna buy one, but yeah. I didn't. Yeah. Fucking hell, this yeah, ain't yeah. fucking hell. Yeah, but we're thirty one though. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, but it's like, <laughs> like pretty I, much. But right it now. is the vibe. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, I saw cool, the kids cool. in and I was cool, ready. Cool, I was cool. ready. But yeah, the North Face Nazi was like a staple. Especially jacket. the blue one, the top way one. Yeah. yeah. So um, what I said was, alright, cool. You pull up here, you swap your old North Face jacket for for the bolo, and then that's that's that basically. Like, that's literally it. And the value exchange, how much is a... It's crazy. A North Face Nupsy exchange. is about 250 to 300 pounds. And the bolo, the price hadn't been decided yet. But I was like, this jacket is as good as a Nupsy. Yeah. And then, um, so in that sense, it's like a lot of like small brands will come into the market with their jacket and they'll maybe charge maybe like, what, 180 pounds, 200 pounds. But then me saying, all right, cool, you just swap your North Face Nupsy for this. And a North Face Nupsy costs 250. So it's like... I've already kind of positioned the jacket in a way for it to be 250 pounds. Yeah. Because yeah. I've just made it like a, a, a swap. And some when I said when I posted it like on Twitter, 
people chatting shit like black Twitter chatting shit like oh, no one's gonna no one's gonna come to this <laughs> no one's gonna no one's gonna swap their North Face jacket for this for this guy's fucking bozo jacket or whatever you call it like that's that's literally what I, that's what the yeah. attitude was but I always when, when there's kind of outrage because I do, I hadn't even done it yet and people were already annoyed like they were like oh who does this guy think he is or yeah. and I was just like I could I could watch and then the day after I remember um, someone posted a video of like like 300 like people walking out of um, White City Station in West London, all wearing North Faces. Someone else posted it, and that went right, and I was like, this is good that this video's doing yeah. I didn't have to post it, someone else posted it, and that's the word of mouth aspect. Like, someone else posted it, like, rah, like, why are there 300 people walking out of this station wearing with North, North Face jacket? <laughs> <laughs> and um, I was like, yeah, this is perfect. And then literally, like, I'd say there were probably about 300 to like 400 people that came with like jackets to swap. And then I think closer to the time I said, I posted a story like, okay, you know what, you fuck it, you could pull up with any jacket. So some kid pulled up with a Nocta, that Drake Nocta jacket, which is like 500 pounds. Mm. I don't know how much that jacket costs, it's like it's, 500 it's pounds. It's more than that resale it's, it's as well. Lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one, I remember the first person that we picked in the line was wearing a Nocta. So we picked him. That's a 500 pound night jacket. You, you lot said, give me that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> take it off, take it off, take it off, take it off, take it off. Yeah. I was yeah, like, oh my God, if that's real, this guy is... is yeah, is I mad. mean, obviously, so we swapped the jacket. And so I think uh, we swapped, we only, I only brought 50 jackets that day. Yeah. So we swapped 50 jackets and then there was like, a, there was like Montclair's, the obviously North Faces, the Supreme it's Jackets, crazy. Palace Jackets. Crazy. Um, the Nocta. Yeah. And it was just, um, yeah, we donated those jackets to charity. Wow. Can we give a round so of applause jackets. Like <laughs> so all the, all the jackets we swapped were donated to charity. And that was like end of January. So it was cold. You're so it's like get, some get random man robbed. I might, <laughs> I might look for that guy in North <laughs> London with a nocturne. on. But it's like, um, <laughs> it's, it's funny because like bringing it back to creativity, it's like, cool. Um, that whole like, campaign was over like five days. So people were talking about it on like the internet for like five days straight. Yeah. Usually it's like, you get like two days maybe, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, on the internet. It's like, but because obviously we, we did it, I posted it on like a Thursday or Friday, people were talking about it. Then on the Saturday, people were still talking about it because they saw the viral videos on Twitter. Then on like Sunday, it was like, someone posted a video of the kid swapping his Nocta. Yeah. More conversation, like, who the fuck is swapping a Nocta, Montclair? <laughs> and then I posted a photo of me standing on top of all them jackets, like yep. a day, a that, day after yeah. that. It was crazy. Yeah. And yeah. they were still talking about it. And then I remember I, I let them talk for like two days more. And then on the last, like I'd say like on the fifth, sixth day, I put, um, we posted that they were donated to charity. And then people were still chatting shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. people were just talking they were just kind of criticizing it for like the whole it didn't matter what side of the thing you were on before yeah. they knew the intentions they were criticizing it after they were criticizing it still even though we donated the jackets to homeless someone said oh um so people were like oh why did they donate it to homeless people what if they get robbed or something and i was just like it's tem that's robbing you, know? <laughs> <laughs> you know what like my, my i was just kind of like i was like it don't matter what you do People yeah, are always yeah, yeah. gonna have something to say, and like yeah, I'd say with that though, like yeah, it happens to us. I'm yeah. sure it happens to a lot of creators yeah. where you see the no the negative. What I do now is if I see a negative comment, I just send a love heart. But I look for the positive comments more, yeah, yeah. and they always get a more in depth reply. So yeah, like negative is gonna happen, but we just gotta look for the love. But like, if you bring it back to creativity, I think that's obviously us being more unapologetic with how we do things. It's yeah, like, it doesn't yeah. matter what someone's going to say. Yeah, like, yeah. There's always going to be, an, you could do the best thing in the world. Like, I remember, what's that guy, Mr. Beast or whatever it is? Yeah. He yeah. always like, does like mad stuff yeah. mm. for people. And then there's always going to be someone 100%. hating. So yeah, it, it yeah. didn't matter what we did in that situation. There's always going to be a negative comment, but you just kind of have to be unapologetic with your creativity. Because yeah. if you're going to, if, if constantly people's negative comments are going to like stop you from doing something, and the thing is, these people, they say something online, then they go about their day. Yeah. And then sometimes you, you could see it, and then it's like, you could be it's thinking about it the day. whole day. And you're then it's just like, it. this yeah. person don't, don't even, they don't really care or anything. Yeah. Like, they yeah. just 100. said it because they're just, their hater instincts they even just come got out. They egg on their picture on uh, yeah. Yeah, Twitter yeah, 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 and that. Yeah, yeah. that. So it's like, um, but yeah, you just need to be unapologetic with it and just kind of, whatever kind of backlash it is. Sometimes yeah. that's just people's first reaction as well. Everyone online as well is reactionary. 
Mm. It's like the f it's the first thing you're gonna s like people see something and they say the first thing that comes to their mind. Is, and it, it is might that not be is positive. reactionary a word? Reactionary. Yeah, yeah I think it is. Is it, it is. We've got a Google checker. It no, it's definitely a word. Buy this, this guy. Buy this guy dictionary for if we, if we <laughs> had a helmet, <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> First time no, you heard it. But, um, Sounds good. But yeah, nah. I think you just have to be unapologetic and then also just understand that people are always gonna say they say the first thing that comes to their mind. And it's a thing where it's like, even when sometimes musicians drop a song or an album, mm. if, you, if you ever listen to a Drake album, like within the first time it comes up, within an hour, people <laughs> say they hate it. Yeah, then yeah, yeah. three, four years later. It's a the, classic. The, the, <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that's what happens. That's yeah. literally the, the timeline of people's reaction online as well. Yeah. And Let's yeah. talk about uh, brotherhood in, in, in this space. So you've got, some some good a good circle. Amazing yeah. brothers. Well, Amazing. Yeah. What kind of what kind of people you got around you? Uh, and if there are any sisters too. Okay. Uh, I got Kaede, <laughs> my manager, friend. You know. I mean, I wouldn't <laughs> even say I'm my own manager, but if I had a manager, Kaede, in it like. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, and then I'd say, let me even start my business. Like my sister is like the main secretary or like person That's in my cold. business. So you right. went from stealing her clothes, the same one? Nah, I've like got two sisters. Oh, okay. <laughs> so the eldest one, she's like, she basically like handles like mm -hmm. business stuff, like emails. I haven't looked at her email in like, yeah. I don't look at emails right. at all. Mm. If you've emailed me, I'm sorry, it wasn't even me that replied or said anything. But, <laughs> but I don't look at emails. So she does like all that stuff, hate, like she liaises with everyone basically. And then um, all my friends from like, my friends from school or like growing up in my teenagers, like they work in my warehouse and distribution and stuff like that. Yeah, and um, yeah, we just kind of like em employ like a close circle, but that's about like 40 people. Yeah. Wow. And then obviously you have outside of the brand. 40 employees. Yeah. Mass that's five years. Boy. Yeah, that's yeah, crazy. Things. Wow. So, but yeah. Um, and outside the brand, obviously you got like musicians and stuff. Like you got you got Dave, you got Central C and stuff like that. But yeah. I've known these people for a while. It's not yeah. like you, I just meet them now. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of people they also try and discredit um, what I've done because I know someone. Yeah. yeah. But bare people know bare pe like people know people. Of course. And if you're not utilizing that then of you're course. just useless that's how that's 100% if you yeah. can't you know be used you're useless so it was your sister that brokered the Nike deal nah nah <laughs> 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 how did that, how did that I, one get I, I you, take you, it away it's trying for her yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, so you was on emails that time nah so um, someone at night just kind of came to me and was like um, how do you feel about doing a collaboration and obviously it was kind of like I was like, oh, you're like, you're chatting shit. Like, you're not, you're, you're not yeah. being serious, basically. Not, not in like a, like, oh my God. Like, I was kind of like rude with it. Like, stop talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you're wasting he was like, nah, like, and yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. And he was like, nah, like, I'm being serious. And then um, I What's met him. What's his email? What's his email? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, so when he came to me, um, it was kind of just like a, it was just a normal conversation, literally a sit down. I was eating sweet potato fries, and he was like, how, how you feel about doing a, a shoe? And I was like, yeah, why not? Like, yeah. okay, I'll see it when I, I, I was kind of like, I'll believe it when I see it, kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, next thing I know, I was in a group chat, and then with like bare like Nike American numbers and shit, and they were all introducing themselves in like some formal way, like, hey, Clint, like, blah, blah, blah I'm this person of this, I'm gonna help you design this. And then I was like, all right, cool, maybe this is real. And then a couple months later, um, we got a sample for for context. Um, that I spoke tonight first in November 2021. So oh wow! That's like the the shoe came out in March 2023. Yeah. yeah. So that's a year and that's okay. almost a year and a half. Yeah. yeah. So it's like I had to keep that. Under wraps. Yeah, to myself. I would have whistle blown on myself. <laughs> I would have said, you guys don't know what's what? coming. Let's Nike, is, to me Nike is coming. Talk to me, man. To, and these times, mad? he's having exchanges on Twitter at the time and people are like, you're not this, don't worry about this. Yeah, nah, that. I think that's, but that's. Don't but worry, that's, don't worry about it. That's like a, um, yeah, it's like in the back of my head, 
obviously getting a Nike deal is like a kind of... That don't um, happen. We only saw Skepta do it. Yeah, uh, yeah, and yeah. Dave had the thing with, you know, psychodrama and stuff. Like yeah, that. I know. But it's like yeah. it's really and truly like the, there's only... From London in the last couple of years, I'd say there's a Cold War, Sammy Ross, who had a Nike shoe, yeah. Skepta. Yeah. yeah. And then... I feel like I'm missing someone, but I don't think oh, no, I am. But Dave just had a collab. He didn't have a shoe wise, like that. Yeah, like, yeah. Shoe is that yeah. hard. To, like, it's, people don't just... That was yeah. crazy. Yeah. They're cold, So, man. I think for like the whole year, for the whole 2022, for all 2022, I was just kind of not trying to rely on that thought that, yeah. oh, I've got an, uh, a shoe coming. And I didn't want to like slow down or, or make that seem like something that I can be like, oh, that's a cushion to fall back on. Mm. It's like the whole year, I was like, nah, I need to like keep yeah. pushing, pushing, pushing because... By the time the shoe came out in March 2023, I didn't want people to feel like it wasn't warranted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like yeah, I needed yeah, yeah. to do enough. You like, laid the groundwork. The, the, there needed to be enough by itself in order for people to not be able to doubt it. It's like mm. people had to say, I wanted people to think, okay, this makes sense, as opposed to why did why did this person get a shoe or some shit like that. I didn't I didn't want people to have that license to say that and. Um, so the whole of 2022, I was pushing and taking mind. It's like um, before the Nike announcement came out, Cortez had 500,000 followers on Instagram. So that's half a million followers already. It's like there's not a lot of brands who don't use sponsor ads, who they kind of rely on word of mouth, all that kind of stuff. To have half a million followers before you have a collaboration with the biggest company in the world is like quite a thing. But people, unless I've said it, people don't really deep that. Yeah. It's like usually they use that thing to propel them, but like the brand was already kind of like a thing before that. And this is only like some, like an added booster. That's what I'd say. Yeah. So, um, thanks. yeah. Thanks. Even the way you sold it, like, Use all like corner shops, like when you did something in like America. In, you in did New York, yeah, we used the bodega. And then... Um, you were selling Nikes out the bodega? Yeah. Crazy. So, <laughs> yeah, that was, um, it was, when I think about it now, it, it sounds ridiculous. But it is, it, it is. is. Yeah, it is. and it's crazy because someone got shot the day after on that same block. Like, that was in the, like, it wasn't, not say it was in the hood, but it's like, it was, it was a like, bodega. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. like, there was nitties walking past and stuff like that. Like, and then there was 400, and that was, a, we did it on a Tuesday. Yeah. If we had done that on like a Saturday, like yeah. on a Tuesday, there was like, four, there was like at least like 300, 400 people there. Yeah. So it's like, if we did that on a Saturday, yeah. that's like, a different kind. There was kids in school who were messaging me like, "Why the hell did you do this on a Tuesday?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. What's your, what's your favorite part of all of this? Um, the the Nike stuff. No, nah, just all of this. What all, I do? All of, yeah, all of what you do. I think just kind of being able to kind of connect with people in like different kinds of ways. It's like the same way like a, a musician connects with people via their music. It's like connecting with people via clothes is like a different kind of thing. It's like when um, Neymar's wearing a hat yeah. or this person, and then people are sending it to me and people are posting it, it's, it's like, okay, this guy's part of our mm-hmm. circle of mm-hmm. community or whatever it is. I think just the community aspect of it is like my favorite thing. Um, and just, yeah, seeing people in it. I want to, just very briefly, I want to just talk about like belief, because like something is like YouTube is we have to believe in ourselves. We have to believe in our ideas. To put it out there is very risky. Yeah. But like, even you from like a price point where people are like, you can't sell a jacket for 700 pounds. What, what, how dare he, do you get what I'm saying? Like where, yeah. does, where does that belief in your creativity come from? Like, did, are you inspi- like who inspired that? Like, um, I think it's just being realistic with where the brand is going. Um, but from, even from like when I started, it's like, I would say I'd, I'd, I'd tweet stuff like, I want this to be like one of the biggest, the biggest brand in London or something like that. I wouldn't say it's the biggest brand in London yet, but it's like I don't think give it a couple more years in it, and then it, someone had to ask, "Oh, what's that brand from London?" They're gonna say Cortez first, yeah, as opposed to the other ones. Yeah. Like that's that's my aim. But then I want it to be a thing where it's like, what's the biggest brand from Europe in terms of like, let's say streetwear? I want it, them to say Cortez. Same way if someone said, "What's the biggest brand in America?" or you're gonna say Supreme. Yeah. You're going to say Supreme's a big, that's yeah, the biggest street, one. Yeah. So I think f- I've just always kind of just had that belief, but then it's also being like, almost like in denial. Like, I just genuinely think that I can take it there. And if someone tries to doubt that, I've just always kind of just dismiss what they've said because I'm like, you haven't done anything. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, not like that, but like, I couldn't, so, for someone to kind of come to me and then 
kind of always deny what I believe in in myself. It's a bit weird. It's like you're not yeah, me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think maybe even growing up, like my dad would like always say I need to work like four times, ten times harder than other people to just get half halfway of mm -hmm. what they have sometimes. And it's just having that thought in my head. I remember for the longest when I started, my dad wanted me like to go back to uh university and and uh fucking be an accountant or some shit because mm. he didn't un he didn't understand what i was doing or um, i mean he did understand it but he didn't know what i was doing yeah. or he didn't know what the brand was doing the only time i think when i bought my mom a car he was like okay maybe something's connecting a little bit <laughs> <laughs> and then i think and then when i bought him a car I think yeah that's that's, that's, like, uh -huh. yeah, that's yeah. when he that's when he was like okay maybe that like, this is working a little bit you <laughs> maybe, know I mean? maybe, like, maybe yeah <laughs> still like still doubting it up until like other other stuff i got in a minute that yeah, i'm not gonna yeah. say but it's yeah. like that kind of like denial it's like he, if i had a if i had someone that doubted me first not saying it's him, but it's him, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like always if trying to like, always trying to like one. prove him wrong, innit? First up, first yeah. up. And that's uh, that's just a, a general thing with like African parents, innit? Yeah, exactly, like, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Like as a Niger as a Nigerian, he's always gonna be like the he's always gonna be like, oh, go be a doctor. Just a traditional thing of what yeah, they yeah. think makes bread. Yeah. That's just it. Because at the end, the underlying factor of a lot of the career choices they want us to do, it's not because of this or the press. It's literally what makes the most money. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, just what it is. What yeah. it is. So until you can show them that, yeah. they're not gonna get off your back. Facts. And I understood that from a long time ago. Like until I can show these lot what I'm doing by either getting them stuff or doing certain things, blah blah. blah like it's. It, it's a big thing to be able to buy your parent a car because my dad's car broke down and a week later I bought him a new Mercedes, a new Mercedes. Yeah. and then he was just like, "What the fuck?" Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just in my bedroom. Like, <laughs> 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 I'm just in my I'm just in my bedroom, like, and he has no clue. Like, yeah, I mean, obviously they see me like packing orders and stuff because for the first two years of Cortez, it was just me like packing orders in, in my bedroom, room. them, my living room, my kitchen. Like, I used to have to tell my mom, you're not allowed to cook no smelly food for like a week. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, no goosey soup, no nothing. Like, don't, cook no, don't cook nothing for like a week. No fish, because, no nothing. Because yeah, I need to be able to, I need to, I don't want my t-shirt, I don't want some hey. youth in Coventry to receive this t-shirt yeah. and it smells like fish. And you don't even know where it is as well. You'll be confused. Like. Yo. <laughs> hey, when you're getting ready for that rave, you have to leave quick. Yo, it's so funny because I remember telling my mom, like, mom, you're not allowed to make nothing smelly. Like, literally, yeah. like, I've opened the back door, like, Yo, like, just yeah, yeah, yeah. Let yeah. Nothing, yeah. Like, <laughs> plantain at most. Like, yeah. that's, yeah. that's the no man as well. Yeah. So, All right, um, cool. The hard part is over. Now it's time for the tough part. I, I forgot my question. This guy. That's a yeah. tough part. Yeah. Um, where's, he, where's he running to? You? Got, he forgot his <laughs> questions. <laughs> just he forgot his questions. We uh, usually wrap up the show with a bit of trivia. So we got ten questions, and you got some lifelines. Lifelines. You got some yeah. lifelines because they're a little bit tough. Okay. Yeah, but you said you were smart from the jump. Trivia. Mm. Yes. This yes. is like general knowledge trivia. Yes. General yes. knowledge. All right, go on. So your lifelines are, you can ask the audience yeah. one time. Okay. You can get their help once. Okay. Um, you got multiple choice one time. Cool. Um, you can ask a 90s baby, so if you're stuck on my question, you can ask one of those guys for help. Okay. And you can skip, but you can only skip once. So I've got four lifelines? Yeah. And the, how many questions are there? Ten. Okay. The final question is worth 10 points. Okay. For every question you get wrong, you lose a point. You get minus. Right. Mathematics. Mm -hmm. <laughs> minus. All right, you cool. ready, yeah? Yeah, go on. All right, cool. I'll start, yeah? According to the biblical text of... Ah, uh, myth, <laughs> man. <laughs> 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 myth, man. Hey, what? <laughs> <laughs> Was uh, it biblical, <laughs> like, <yeah. laughs> uh, well, according to the biblical text of the Bible, who went to heaven without dying? If he asked for help, help. But wait, wait. If I, see, okay, yeah. are, are we all Christian here? Yeah. Are, yeah. You, are you all Christians? Yeah. 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 Okay. Are you lot heavy believers in God? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, cool. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna ask one of the VP lot then. Are you sure? Ah, oh, see, look. You, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm surrounded by <laughs> sinners. I feel. <laughs> Well, we're all seeing that. Okay. I feel, I, feel, I, feel, I feel the audience. There's, there's help. Who do okay. you want to? Wait, wait. I'll, I'll, ask the, I'll ask the audience. Yeah. This is crazy. You ask like, the audience. I'll ask the audience. Who, who would you like to pick? I can go to them. 
Who looks who, most godly? Yeah, 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 yeah. She yeah. looks very Hopeless holy. <laughs> <laughs> very holy. Yeah, right there, good. Good. Uh, Elijah. Yes. Come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. Well done. Hey, yo. I'm going hey, I'm to I'm send you a pair of Air Maxes for that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. There, there was two. It was Enoch and Elijah. Okay, okay. but we got, we got, wait, yeah. wait, wait, hold on. But we got, it's, we just need one. Yeah, just yeah, 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 that's fine. needed one. Yeah, we got that. Um, <laughs> right, question two. Hey, yeah, yeah. You said this was tough, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, question, oh, yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, question two. Name five Disney princess movies. Oh. Shit, man. Uh, I, princess. Princess. Yes. So it has to have princess in the title. No, 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 no. no, no. Just a princess. princess in it. Oh, it's just, just okay, just the, okay, just the lit. Uh, Mulan. Does that count? Oh, yeah, Mulan. 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 Does yeah, Mulan, Mulan count? Yeah, yeah, Mulan count. Did you say does that help? <laughs> uh, what's the one where where she kisses the frog? Nah, nah, that's not Disney though, is it? Uh, Stop it's, helping, man. What's the thing? Oh, 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 Frozen. Frozen, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. the blonde, Frozen, the blonde one, too. yeah. You're a hater, no, 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 man. That no, is no. a princess. You, you ain't even got a TV. Like. Name <laughs> the movie. Name the movie. Said name the movie. Um, yeah, that's right. You got two. Okay, so Mulan, Frozen. Yeah. Oh, yo. Oh, 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 Cinderella. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, why do you think about Cinderella? Uh, I'm thinking, is that what it's called? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. Cinderella. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that's her name, but. The... What is is Cinderella not the name of the film? What's the name of Frozen? That's the name of the film. They said no, but that's no, the no, it's the name of the film. He said, he said princess the... oh, films. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, yeah, yeah. princess yeah. films. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna not give the princess the name. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. All right, so I'm free. Uh, yeah, we've Mulan. Got... Uh, what did I say? Frozen and um, Cinderella. Cinderella. I was about to say Princess Diana. I'm tapped. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, two more. Two more. Wait, wait, so hold so on. Come on. Hey, you know what? There's, there's, there's one princess here, and she's got our oh, Beauty and the Beast. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Okay. One more. Uh, one last more. one. Last this one. last one's gonna slap. Mm. Ah. Right. You Stop. got multiple choice. He's looking for the answer. <laughs> Snow White. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I heard that like someone in the crowd, <laughs> but yeah. But someone was like, <laughs> but, yeah, man. Come on, man. Yeah. All right, question three. I didn't grow up with Freeview. I had Disney Channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, what is the name of the football stadium, stadium Inter Milan and AC Milan play there? San Siro. Right. 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 Free for free. Free for stuff. free. All right, that was three your three. Doing well. Doing All right. Well. So my first question is, when was the first Air Max 97 released? 1997. Yes. Correct. All right. I was just checking. Nah, 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 you know, I'm not going to complain. You got to check it. I, uh, you gave it me, could be a trick question. You know the stuff. You know the stuff. You know the stuff. You would have said 1993, you, you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Question two. YBNL Nation is an independent record label. Yeah. Founded by Alameda. Yeah. What does the YBNL stand for? Mm. What? Wait, what? Okay, all right, cool. YB, oh, so Asha K's label. Yes. All right, cool. What does the Y, B, and L stand for? Fucking hell. Why did you think of... Why did you think of that? <laughs> I, I, listen. <laughs> That's such a, like, what? Okay. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. You, his lifeline is no. done. Life but you can't answer 90s oh, babies wait, so on what this else, one. What else I got? Uh, Ask a 90s life. babies. Ask a 90s babies. Yeah, right, yeah, what does it stand for? Now you... No, no, you yeah. can't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, uh, no, I didn't... No, no, no. You don't know? No. Of course not. No one knows, bro. I forgot. I think you're the only person in here that knows what that. <laughs> no, trust me, Africa's here. Trust me. Uh, wait, okay, wait. So you if can you use skip, a skip and, and you won't, won't lose a point. point. I can skip and I won't lose a point. Yeah. Why yeah. BNL? And if I get it wrong, I lose a point. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. There's no way on earth I could. I could. I would know this. Okay. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Do they say it in a song? No. They've never said it in a no. song. So how am I meant to know it? Just Google. Bro, I don't Google that oh, stuff. Oh, wait, bro. hold on. Why? What is it again? Why B N L. Y B N L. Okay, try me, try me, try me. Oh, yeah, use it. Try me, try me. You don't even look confident, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm all you got. I'm all you got. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. But if he gets it wrong, I lose the point. Yes. So I'm counting on him. Yeah. Yeah. I can't lie. I don't want to hold a grudge against you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I don't think you know it. <laughs> I've got an idea. Okay. 
you okay, you do you want to convert? whisper it to him? You got an idea. Wait, yeah. wait, wait, no, but that means if, if I take, if, I, if he whispers it to me. And you like it, you could go with it. All right, cool, all right, all right, tell me, tell me, tell me. Pause. You don't even have to whisper, but yeah, you can nah, tell No, 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 no. I won't take this as your answer. He can say what he He's thinks. not sure, man. No, no, I've got it, I've got it. It's, it's the NL that's confused me, but I've got YB. Uh, YB. All right, yo, skip, skip. Skip, <laughs> skip yeah, okay. <laughs> what is this stand for? Do you want to guess? It's, it's Yahoo Boys. No, no laptop. laptop. Yeah. No well laptop. Done. I knew laptop was like, it's I, all right. I wouldn't have got that even if I had a laptop. <laughs> <laughs> Clip 419, you don't know your own boys on laptop. <laughs> okay, and the last question is, well, it's a finish the lyric. She got thick, but she want to we'll get, get thin, thin again. again. Yeah. Drinking, drinking apple cider vinegar. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wearing skim because you, you want to be, be Kim and them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think he knows this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Uh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you're bad. Stop acting innocent. Yeah. Oh wait, you gotta sing it properly. No, man. I don't. That's what makes it harder. <laughs> yeah. You're so, hey, whoa, this is crazy. So, that's why I stopped at this part. I've heard that's this song a million times. Yeah, bro, you, you put that song together. I know you're bad. I know stopped you're acting, acting innocent. Sin. Yeah. And then what's the... Nah, nah, sing the first bit again. Okay. She got thick. A little bit more... Mm. <laughs> no. This is how I'm giving it. This is how I'm giving it. <laughs> all, right, all right, cool. She got thick, she want, but she want to be thin, thin again. again. Drinking apple, apple cider, cider vinegar. vinegar. Wearing skin because you want to be Kim and them. Yep. Uh, all right. All right. I know you're bad, stop acting innocent. innocent. Oh, we ain't got... Mm. Mm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, you see, I got him. You see, he was all confident at the beginning. <laughs> God, I knew you where to stop. Central C, are you seeing your mates? <laughs> oh, fuck. Wait, wait. You're almost there. Though. Wait, wait, now. I, I know it's, it's something to do with generational wealth, but I don't know the way. Wait, 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 wait hold on, hold on. Oh, this is mad. I've heard this song 120 times. I know. Yeah, bro. Fuck. No, you can't. He's running out of that lifeline. Nah, this ain't even multiple choice. This is like, I should know this. Yeah, you should. Damn. Damn. I'm not a good should, friend. Should, should, should I be nice? Mm, you, you're, you're a hater, so. <laughs> we just, there's a lot of bad energy in this <laughs> corner here. Like, <laughs> you're like, yo. Like, They've been on the show, innit? Whoa, they feel man. the pressure. Um, ah. Oh. Wait. Nah, this is crazy. I can't lie. Nah, you're almost there. That's all I can say. I'm flabbergasted that I don't know this, bro. I'll be, I'm honest, like. Uh, all right. I know that your bad stop acting innocent. Do it. You sing it from the top and then see where you get to. Innocent. Sing it from the top. She got thick, but she want to be thin again. again. Drinking apple cider vinegar because she want to be thin. <laughs> <laughs> <That's laughs> <in> <laughs> he can't believe it. He can't believe it. I'm going to have to press you for an answer, Clint. Uh, you know, okay, okay. All right, cool. <laughs> you do have oh, multiple wait, wait, choice. Wait. Oh, yeah, you do have multiple choice. That's true. Fuck. It's, it's, wow. Nah, I can't lie. It's something to do, I think it's something to do with generational wealth for millions, but I'm, I ain't got it still. That's the best time to use multiple choice. If you hear it. All right, uh, wait. Oh, I don't even know the other questions. I know. <laughs> yeah, you got four more. Fuck. I do you, wait, do you Just know it? Don't look at me again. I think you know it. Do you I know actually it? think you know it. I actually think you know it. I don't know it. I know it, but I don't know it. But you, you okay, you've said it. I, you know what? I've been looking at Kyle for the last five minutes. And he he's hasn't, not even he hasn't he's not even helping me. Yeah, no, I know. I looked as well. <laughs> Alright. Take a guess, because you're close. Oh, I'm close. You're close. Okay. We ain't got generational wealth. It's only a couple of years that, that I've had these millions. That's it. Right, cool, cool. Oh, okay. Okay. I told you, you knew it. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. You're selling what seven hundred pound jacket. You don't believe you know your lyrics. I can't, I can't. All right, cool. You. All right. My question That's is: crazy. <laughs> How many months pregnant was Usher's side chick when he said he was creeping with her? How many months <laughs> pregnant? Now you're gonna have to sing lyrics. <laughs> Now you're gonna have to sing the lyrics. You don't, you don't got it. Think got about it. it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. How yeah. many months pregnant was mm -hmm. Usher's side chick when she said that she was keeping it? I don't, what, what She's keeping it. Um, I can't give you that. 
<laughs> hey, I'm watching you. I'm seeing yeah. <laughs> numbers. Put down over there. Assume. But you still got Ask a 90s, baby. <laughs> I can still Ask a 90s, baby. You can oh, still ask. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Yeah, 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 you can. Yeah. I think I got it. Yeah. I think I got it. Yeah. All right, cool. So it's a side chick. Yeah. And. <laughs> Man's talking is on the wrong part of the question. <laughs> she was pregnant and she said she's keeping, keeping it. The baby. Is it three months? Yeah. 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 Yes. Well See? done. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, wow. Um, Jesus. Um, right. <laughs> right, Ray Charles was famous for playing which instrument? But does he know does it, though? Does he know it? Look at his face. Does he know <laughs> <laughs> The piano, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. 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 What Wonder, is <laughs> the name of the airport that you arrived in? Damn. Wow. Damn. wow. Have you That's a there? good one. That's a you crazy see? That's a good one. Yeah. That's Are you crazy. paying attention? Can't you see this? Does it have sign? an L in it? No, nah, it ain't got an L in it. <laughs> mm -mm. Start with an L. <laughs> nah, don't start with an L. Mm. Fuck, man. Someone mm -mm. give me my boarding pass. Yeah, you flew here. You, you, you got. I, this, I, I, this, wait, what question got, is this? This is your second to last. You got Ask a 90s Baby and Multiple Choice. So you're in oh, a good yeah. place there. Yeah. I don't know. I neither do I. Multiple choice. Okay. Multiple choice. This right. I shouldn't have done, I shouldn't have picked multiple choice, but go on. Was it Jomo Kenyatta? Was it Omo Tentata? Was it Mama? <laughs> <laughs> You're not serious, man. <laughs> was on. it Was it Mohammed Mutala? All right, it's the first one, man. It's the first one. It's the first one, bro. It's the first one. Yeah, right. it's, it's, it's the first one, man. I didn't think he was going to ask for one. It's the first one. I didn't have no choice. It's the first one. All right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Kenyans, I'm so sorry for that. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You've done well. All right, the final question is worth 10 points, and you get to pick who asked you the question. Yeah. I, I get to pick who asked me the question. Yeah. yeah. My, my question is in alcohol. Okay, my question is in popular names. Popular names? My question is in science. What, what lifelines I got left? You got Oscar, Oscar Knight's Knight. baby. <laughs> what, what are you trying to say? We're not smart? <laughs> he's trying to say he's not smart. <laughs> Alcohol, popular name science. Science. I like the way you think. Go yeah. science. You like to challenge things, isn't it? You? You, like you like to push yourself. Okay, let's go. Wait, wait, hold on. What science is it? I get you, I get you. Um, um, hold on. Hey, Why chemistry. You chemistry. Hey, bad chemistry. vibes corner. We don't want no, no more. Hey. Chemistry, chemistry, chemistry. Chemistry. Yeah. Ah, right, we're not doing science. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to tell you this. It's too late to change for 10 points. So that's a 10 point question. I'm five points, VP is two points. Yeah. Not VP. No, no. So, well, two no, points. no, it's no, no, you I, can choose, if you yeah. change, it's five points. Oh, 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 oh. And I thought, if you oh. change again. Yeah. Wait, so I can't points. change? I didn't pick science. You so pick you science. Ask him, what science is it? You pick science. Yeah, so you're over science. there for 10 points. Fuck, man. I think you got you, this. You can hear the question you first. You can hear the question. Okay, let me, wait, I can hear the question and change. You can hear the question. All right, let me hear the question. So the question is, Watch the show. <laughs> yeah. Watch the show. Um, the question is, the movement of water molecules from a solution with a high concentration of water molecules... Osmosis. Yeah! Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> I told you, E equals MC <laughs> squared from birth. <laughs> well done. Well done. You slashed... You smashed it still, you smashed it. Aye, that was a good one. He might be unleadable for sure. Yeah. You know, that, that was like some, Aye. that was like Jordan, like yeah. the buzzer beat. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. ah, ah, like back of the All right, well guys, that is our time, man. Thank you for, for coming, tuning in. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Do, Thank do you. we have Q&A time? No, no, no. No, we're done. Okay. Thank okay, you. Cool. Thank you to our guest, Clint419. Make sure you check out the brand. Honestly. Subscribe to our channel, 90s Baby Show, everywhere. 
Thank you guys, you lot are great creators, man. It's yeah. been fun with you. Safe flights great, home. Great um, Abby, it's your birthday tomorrow, right? It is. It is. It is. Can we, can we get a quick happy birthday song? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's go. All, all, all together, three, two, one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Abby. Happy birthday to you. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Long life <laughs> and prosperity. Mm -hmm. Guys, thank you so thank much. You thank you, guys. Such an incredible session.